Hi Sagittarius, this reading is for any Sun, Moon or Rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also look at a few Oracle cards to give you additional information as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Try to get these squared up here. So we have the Princess of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Ace of Cups. So the Princess of Wands here, she looks uh, very energetic. She looks ready to, to go forward, to move forward. And when we have a, a princess or a young prince, it's this youthful energy. And uh, this youthful energy wants to have experiences and wants to go out on adventures and is eager to do things. And so that means accepting invitations, getting involved, pursuing projects, learning about new projects. You know, you're open and you're enthusiastic about life and living life and having fun. And so whether this is a uh, relationship based of getting out there and trying to make things happen, or if it's just the zest for life and, and having the desire to create, to be creative or to be of service, then, um, you know, this is a card of doing things, of getting out there, putting yourself out there and doing things. Also with Princess of Wands, this type of card may indicate messages, some type of communication, you know, it could be offers in the email or, or, or a text saying, hey, let's go take this course at the art gallery or let's go do this. It's a sense of let's get out there and do things and, and be active and enjoy life and develop these experiences to help uh, make life more fun, which is probably uh, a helpful a helpful thing when we look at this nine of wands and we look at the warrior here who looks tired, he looks uh, bruised, hurt. He's got these wands in front of him and this is this sense of, um, of hanging in there even though you are struggling and maybe you're exhausted, you're worn out, perhaps frustrated. And it's a sense of just having to protect having to guard yourself, perhaps having to defend yourself. With the Nine of Wands, there's a sense of standing tall, and this can often suggest um, courage, persistence, uh, persevering, developing some resilience. You know, when you're hurt and you're tired and you've been struggling with something, you know, it's easy sometimes to say, I'm done with it, I quit, I'm, I'm out of here. But with this, there's a sense that you're just going to hang in there some more. You're so close to the end, perhaps the end of a struggle or the end of an obstacle, that uh, it's worth it to you to keep standing. And you know, when you keep standing, it says a lot about strength of character. Again, of hanging in there, of of waiting for what's next and being ready to take it, take it on. To protect yourself, you may feel cautious, you may feel uh, concerned, but it's not going to be strong enough to make you quit and to make you walk away. You know, we have these moments in life, it just seems that sometimes things never end, we're always on the defense or we're always having to protect ourselves. But the message is clear, which is hang, hang in there, hang in there, keep standing. So then what we have with this reading is this beautiful Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups, as we see this beautiful cup overflowing with these streams of water into like this one main uh, flowing stream. And this is a card, Aces are gifts, blessings, or the possibilities of what the universe is putting in front of you. And this is a possibility for love, for an emotional connection, for this emotional um, uh, connection with someone else, something that makes you feel happy, 
that makes you feel again alive, joyful, loved, and nurtured. This can suggest that maybe you like someone, maybe you're attracted to someone, maybe they're attracted to you. And so with the Ace of Cups is the hope of, of a powerful relationship. And again, relationships can be loving that are platonic. So we have to include that as well. But this is a card of, of uh, compassion, of kindness, and of really uh, to, to, to take, get the most of the Ace of Cups is to be open yourself, is to open your heart, is to open your eyes is to be welcoming of all opportunities, ones that you maybe you think, you know, you would never uh, be with someone or, or want to hang out with someone. Well, you know, try something different. You know, this is the, the power of the Ace of Cups is that connections come in all different sizes and shapes. And why limit yourself? Allow yourself the freedom to meet people, to, to have these uh, again, the potential of a deep, connected relationship. If you're in a relationship, this is a, an opportunity to even make it better, to um, build your bonds, to build the reservoir of love. So very powerful card with the Ace of Cups. Princess of Wands, with this wand energy of enthusiasm. You know, as we're getting to the Nine of Wands, it's a little, uh, we're a little, might be a little worn down but have that desire and that uh, feeling that I'm just going to keep standing and I'm going to keep at it, which is a probably a good thought to have. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have 1 and 9 is 10 and 10 and 1 is 11. 11 is a master number. It's the master number of service, of being altruistic, of being kind and considerate really and generous and, and helping others. And sometimes you help others by being a loving role model, by being a wonderful mother, mother or father, aunt or uncle, brother or sister, colleague. So, you know, people notice. And so this is uh, the, the master number of services uh, for all those who help others and I think who care about earth and care about people and society. And to close the reading, I'd like to choose an oracle from the Sacred Traveler. Do this. Begin now. Take your first step, which is what the Prince of, of Wands would say. Take your first step. Go out there. Enjoy life. Along the way, you may have to defend yourself. You may have tough situations, stand tall, keep at it. You have the persistence and the determination to do so. And emotional connections, keep your eyes open. If you're hoping for one, walk the walk. Get out there and put yourself in a social situation where you're going to meet people. So I hope that you have a great Tuesday. I hope that you found something here that resonated with you. If you did, please subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing, and come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.